All of the glory belong to God. I want to say to those of you today that in our world, though it be religious or just commonly every day that we talk with one another, we live in a time that men, women, boys, and girls, no matter where we be, there is hardly the talk about God. We can talk about just about anything else, but they say don't talk about God, don't talk about Jesus, nor the Holy Spirit. We can talk about the weather, we can talk about politics, but just don't mention the cross. Remember Jesus when he was in this world? He talked to the people of his time and he told them their feelings. He told them how they felt about him, how they felt about God, how they felt about the Holy Spirit. The prophets had already come and they had already been rejected. Jesus, he said, I am come to you in my Father's name and you don't believe me. But if another shall come to you in his own name, him you will believe. When you read John 5 and 43, Jesus, he said those things. And you can see it just as plain as day in our world. That this is how people really feel about themselves and in their life and in their quest when it comes to making their decisions about what they want to do with their life. Remember Marshall Applewhite? He was this man that led what was called the Heaven Gate Group in 1997. He led people to believe that God was going to come and they all needed to get ready. So they all joined themselves together in this room because it was a time in which the asteroids, the signs, had already predicted that the asteroid was going to be many that would be flying in the night. And Marshall Applewhite, he told the people that when these asteroids come by, that we all need to drink this deadly poison together and we're going to be hurried upon one of them. The people believed it. They believed that while drinking this deadly poison, late that morning that their souls would enter into one of these comets that would be carried out through one of these asteroids that would be passing by. People believe this, but they don't believe things about the cross. They don't believe things about in which Jesus says within his word. People have all kinds of different theories when it comes to their own life, they're not concerned about their soul, though it seems. You remember David Koresh during the time when he stood 51 days outside of Waco, Texas, within this building that he had all of his people that was following him. They believed that David Koresh was some kind of God. He led them in what was called the people's temple. They was a cult called and led by David Koresh himself. 51 agents, these agents of federal, they stood outside and they waited for 51 days for David Koresh to just give himself up and to come out as this cult leader but he refused he had all kinds of gasoline cans and uh, propane bottles and everything within that building and the order was given by the president to go in to get just a little bit closer not knowing what all was on the inside of the building as they got closer it says shots began ringing out 
the building exploded. And there was about 73 people in the building, including David Koresh himself. They all was killed. Just as Jesus said, I am come to you in my Father's name, and you don't believe me. But if one shall come to you in his own name, him, you will believe. There have been many false prophets. There have been many false teachers and many false leaders, and they're yet continuing to come. We remember during the time when Jim Jones, he was called the 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 father he was called the father prophet father divine and people they believed and they trusted in him and they followed him jim jones he ordered the death of over 900 people to drink deadly poison father divine he was told as he told and he taught his people and they believed him they called him Father Divine. There was none greater than Jim Jones during the time when the U.S. government had got word that all of these things were going on, that this man was leading people in to a place that he was calling Heaven's Gate. These people, they thought that they was going to be within this great city of God. And Jim Jones, he told the people, just drink. Drink, my children. They all drank that deadly poison. Jim Jones' wife, his sons, one of them did escape. They drank this poison and they all died. By the time the federal agents got closer to Jim Jones, he put a gun upside his own head and taken his own life. He did not drink the deadly poison. People are doing this all the time. All over the world, they're being led by people that are false. People that fail to obey God. People that fail to listen to him. Look at Osama bin Laden. When he came and he was accused in 1993 of having something to do with the bombing that was at the Twin Tower during that time in New York City. He was never accused, never charged rather, with those bombings that had taken place. But in 2001, there were two Al-Qaeda team that came within this United States. And they brought planes that they had boarded. And they boarded these American planes and they ran them into the Twin Towers. They ran them into the Pentagon. They tried to run them into other places, but they were not successful. There was nearly 3,000 people that were killed. In fact, there were 2,997 people that lost their lives because of Al-Qaeda. People that believed in bin Laden. People that followed his advice. They're doing it each and every day. My friend, if you're not a Christian, you need to be. But Jesus is calling for you. He wants you to be saved. If you're not a Christian, you come by hearing his word, Romans 10, 17. You believe his word, Hebrews 11 and 6. You repent of your sin, Luke 13, 3 and 5. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is God's son, Matthew 10, 32 and 33. You must be baptized in water to have your sins washed away. Mark 16, 15, 16, Acts 2, 38. You must continue to be faithful unto death. John 8, 31, 32, Revelation 2 and 10. Visit the church of Christ when you can. And when you get there, for God's sake, please ask questions. God bless you and God keep you. Until next time.